We're pouring up. We get this coconut milk. We got the red juice. We got that, that good stuff. This is not drugs, by the way. This is literally just a pink drink from Starbucks. So I don't do drugs, believe it or not, I don't. So today's actually not a uh, how to make a pink drink tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking about how to get the smooth zoom ins, just like you just saw right now. Mmm. This is banger, bro. So before we go ahead and get into the tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop where I sell editing assets and packs for creators just like you. So if that sounds interesting, go check the link down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into today's banger tutorial. Alrighty guys, so right here in front of us, we actually have a clip of Tom Noski. Shout out Tom Nosk, he is the actual goat. So as you guys can see inside of this clip, there's like a subtle zoom in, but this is kind of like the most like raw clip that I can find. But today we're actually gonna show you something similar Similar to the preset that I actually have inside of my short form editing pack. And this is actually on my website if you guys want to go ahead and cop. But if not, I'm still going to show you guys how to do it. So no worries. So it's going to look something like this a super clean zoom in, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, but like it produces a very professional result. Like I could literally see Tom Nosk using the zoom in in his content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. First things first, we wanna go ahead and create an adjustment layer. And the way you do that is you go to new item, you go to adjustment layer, and then you hit okay. And what this is gonna do is gonna create an adjustment layer for you. You just wanna fit the adjustment layer to the clip that you wanna zoom in. And real quick, the reason why we use adjustment layers is simply because we wanna have the zoom affect all of the stuff below it. So if you have icons, text that you want to zoom in as well with your footage, this is the way to do it. And it almost replicates like a 3D camera. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we got the adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and type in transform. And the transform tool is where the effect is gonna be taking place. So first things first, let's uncheck the use composition shutter. We just wanna crank that up to something like 318 or even like 260, whatever. I like to just crank it up pretty high because motion blur just looks really, really good. This effect is gonna be taking place in the scale effect and we're gonna be doing a zoom in and a zoom out. So I'm gonna show you how to do both. Yo, real quick before we continue with the tutorial, I wanna let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack. So that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow. So now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process. And like, I genuinely mean that I use these presets each and every single day, and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online, go ahead, check it out down below in the description. And let's get right back to the video. So we want to go to scale. We want to go ahead, keep the first frame at 100. And because we want to zoom in over time, let's go over a couple frames, a couple seconds over, and then just zoom in just like so by increasing the scale value. And you can increase it by typing in here if you want to be exact, or you can just grab your mouse and just do something like that. So I'm going to set that at 120, pretty hefty zoom. And as you can see, it's zooming in, but it looks pretty bad. Like this is not looking smooth at all. So how do we do that? We select both keyframes, right click, go to Bezier. And the Bezier allows you to play with these keyframes velocity. And the way you do that is you go to this drop down menu and then you select the keyframe. Now, the best way to describe velocity is essentially the higher up, the faster. And then like left to right, of course, is like time. So, so let's say we want the zoom in to happen really, really quickly. And then we want it to sort of like taper off like very slowly to this value. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. So that's actually pretty good. I, that's literally like actually perfect. We got that first try. So you can play with the shape. You can go ahead and just make it really quick right off rip. So it's like a really quick zoom in just like that. And that one's like not terrible, not bad actually. Or you could do like a very like abrupt zoom in and like boom, really quick. So that's kind of like a, like a sharp one. Or you can do something like pretty crazy at the end like so. I personally wouldn't recommend that. That looks actually really bad. <laughs> but you could get really crazy with these curves. Like I actually don't even know how I did that. Oh, I did the negative value. Like you can just really twist these really crazily and just play around with them and get to like know what they do. Like obviously you would never ever do something like that or like this. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the original curve just like so. That one's pretty clean. Let's say we actually just want to make it a little bit play with it like that. Maybe bring this in a little bit. And pretty much what this is doing is like replicating the flow graph inside of After Effects. 
So that looks actually really good. I'm really happy with this result. Now, how do we go ahead and do the zoom out? So you can do one or two things. You can also scale it in here and do another one. But for me, every movement that I do, I actually like to separate it with an adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag another adjustment layer down here. And then I want it to zoom out. And then let's go ahead and just like trim this up just like so. So this is the zoom in movement to actually keep this going. Okay, sweet. So now that we have our zoom in done, how do we go ahead and do the zoom out? So the way you do it, um, you can go ahead and just actually edit it inside of in this same exact effect right here. But for me, I like to keep my movement separate. So let's go ahead and drag another transform onto the section. And let's go ahead and just uncheck this box, turn up the shutter, and then let's go ahead and affect the scale. So let's say we want our zoom out to start right here. And we want it to end right here. To zoom out, do we want to actually go down in value? Let's go ahead and just go right back to 83 and let's play it just like so. It's gonna be an ugly zoom out, like just doesn't look good at all. Same exact process, right click Bezier, go ahead, play with the velocity. And, and we want the zoom out to be a little bit quick in the beginning and then like kind of fade into that last value. So let's see what this looks like. Sweet, that looks really killer. Cool, then you just move it to where you want it. I think this looks good. So zoom in and we're coming up on our zoom out. Zoom out real quick, killer. Super, super clean, super smooth. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to create these smooth zoom ins and outs. And these effects are very popular inside of short form content. So if you can master the zoom in, zoom out, then your editing is just gonna look that much better. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped you learn a thing or two. Like I remember when I first started editing and like editing keyframes was super confusing, but the more you play with it, the more you get your reps in and the more comfortable you're gonna feel with it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Remember to take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.